Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and today we have a bit of a Warrior unboxing. Um, so first I'll go over this helmet. So I got a Warrior Alpha 1 helmet. Um, I kind of want to grab the rainbow helmet colors and I like trying new things if you couldn't tell. So I got this Warrior Alpha 1 helmet. Um, I think it's a really good design in terms of compared to their older ones which are kind of round and odd looking. Um, this helmet looks decent like this. I find when you put it on your head Especially without the cage, it looks really huge. Um, it kind of looks like, I guess, almost a soft helmet. Um, but regardless, I got it. It's super comfortable when you put it on. Um, they don't, they aren't adjustable lengthwise. They have a boa system in the back that adjusts the interior, and that's it. So there's a like small, medium, large, and they don't shrink or get bigger length uh, with lengthwise. So you kind of have to adjust it like that. Um, it kind of reminds me of. Uh, Easton E600s and E700 helmets and how it is a single like non adjustable the shells one size and then it has an adjustment system on the back. The One Pro which is a step down from this helmet um, reminds me of the Easton one even more because the materials on the inside are pretty similar to what those Easton helmets are. Um, honestly this one's pretty similar too if you take a look in there. It has like the softer foams here um, and then some uh, like extra foams here but it almost looks like a bike helmet. And that's kind of how the Easton ones were as well. And I'm, uh, so I'm pretty excited to use this, try it out. It does look absolutely huge on my head, but the cage kind of mitigates that. The one thing to watch out for is when I wear this, this is a medium cage, medium helmet. When I wear this, um, this part doesn't actually go all the way through because my chin, all the way to the top hook here, because my chin is, I guess my face is taller than, it, than this helmet is totally built for. So it kind of sits right there because my chin's in the way. Um, and that's what these fairly tight personal preference thing, um, but just to give you a heads up. Um, they also come with these stickers that I'm not totally sure where they go and I gotta figure that out in the future, but I'll open them up just to show you. So they come with these stickers like this, they're all in different colors, there's like white, red, uh, and I'm assuming they go on the side, about right here, but again, I haven't really tried to do that, I haven't really taken a real look at it, but uh, maybe in the future I will. So, sorry, just like that. So, that's it for the helmet. Um, Next, we have the Ritual X Pro Jock. Now, I uh, have been using this Ritual Jock for about six years. There's a, a review on this this Jock that I wrote, and you can check it out to see how long I've used this for. Um, I was a huge, huge fan of this Jock. You can see it's used, it's abused. I had to retie the elastics on the back because I used it for so long. Um, and it was getting to the point where even after I retie the elastics, I need to do it more. And this part just kept folding in. Um, so I figured I might as well buy a new one. This one served me very well. So I went with the newer updated version. This is the Ritual X Pro. It has been out for a while, um, but I decided to grab it since I was so comfortable. This one liked it so much. And now it has a much nicer inner piece right there. You can see the difference in thickness between these two is quite substantial. Um, so that's nice that they added a little bit more padding there and as well as made it so it won't fold in on itself. But and most of the materials and everything are pretty close to being the same. Uh, everything here just slightly upgrade on the X-Pro just to make it slightly better. I'm sure that these don't, this doesn't dent like this one did originally, but again, it wasn't ever an issue with me. I was extremely happy with this shock. I always recommended it. So I went to the X-Pro um, because I figured if I really liked it that much, I might as well grab another one and support Warrior for, in my opinion, making one of the best shocks on the market. So that's about it for this unboxing. I'll be doing a full review of this helmet in the future as well. The jock, I mean, it, I'll, I might talk about it more, but if you want to see the review, check this one out. It's very similar. I'm pretty sure my feelings will be identical. So that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. I hate to say this, but in the description, I subscribe to my YouTube, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It helps me get more gear so I can talk about it and do reviews on. Uh, so that's it, and take it easy.